What's going on, Toxic Gamers? The day is finally here, guys. The PS5 Pro unboxing video. We're gonna get down to it. We gotta talk about GTA 6 as well, right? Because a lot of people are like, hey, man, the price better be 900 USD for that one, you know what I'm saying? And we also had leaks and rumors that did say that GTA 6 is gonna be running at 30 FPS on the PS5 Pro. We're gonna actually talk about all of that in the video. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you think we should get games running at 60 FPS. Dislike the video if you're cool with 15 fps guys i, I, I want to know where you guys are. shout out to the homie dreamcast guy check this one out roll it so let's get into it now we're going to watch part of the unboxing but i'm not going to use the audio of it because they're just speaking german and i speak okay. about 500 words of german but most of what they're doing is just you know what most people talk the only thing i know in german is scheiß scheiße you know what i'm saying like if anybody is from german let me know like some new words man i want to learn too guys about an, an unboxing which is just making jokes with their buddies and showing like power cords and stuff like that but you can see some comments here a lot of the german audience is really latching onto this this guy don big injection so this person saying like uh i'm so jealous mine comes in a few days so these pictures all this data and stuff is coming from someone called net games yeah 700 us dollars right which is going to be approximately 1100 canadian and if you want to add the disk drive that's going to be 1200 dollars i cannot wait for my ps5 pro to come out <laughs> <laughs> Yo, suckers are crazy, man. Yeah, people are gonna buy it. And, and listen, I, I said it before, I'll say it again. Like, if the improvements are good, I will get it as well. That's gonna be a tax write-off for me as well, and I will be able to make videos for you guys, and, you know, it's kind of like an investment. But I'll be honest with you guys, man. This should not have been, like, 700 USD, bro. Like, that, that, you suckers are crazy for that one. Without this drive, without the stand in it, right? You gotta pay for the PlayStation Plus on top, right? It, it, it is crazy. Let's see the unboxing and uh, let's uh, let's see what's up, man. And this is the first thing that's actually really cool. This is a CMOS battery access port. <laughs> no, All right, so no the, the super nerdy, but essentially consoles can eventually die. Like if you've ever yeah. owned a copy of Pokemon and been playing it for years. And Yo! Okay, so in the normal PS5, there's no way to remove the CMO CMOS battery, or is it like too deep inside? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I wanna know, I'm genuinely curious to know. Because, yeah, it's a good thing if you can remove the CMOS battery. That's actually good. Yeah, that that's okay, that's a plus one. In years and years, and suddenly it can't tell the time and date. The CMOS battery is something that's inside of systems, and it's also inside of like really old games. It stores particular core data stuff, so it, it keeps that charged. So even when you unplug your PS5 or unplug your Xbox, it still knows the time and date. And this is very relevant mm. because not only does the system require that, but it actually makes it so the system can live forever. So you can yeah. swap out the CMOS and make sure it still understands that stuff down the road. This is a tiny and very niche thing, but it's Sony actually future-proofing something, which they don't That's do a lot. I'm actually shocked and confused they decided to do this, but that oh, is man. a cool move that I'm sure like... Yeah, th this is, by the way, GTA 5 AI gameplay, and you saw, like, uh, it, it does look very good, but, of course, it has, like, little errors, which you, uh, and you see them, and you can easily tell, like, if it's fake, right? But, crazy. Uh, I want to really know how many of you guys are buying the PS5 Pro. One in the comments if you are, two if you're not, three if you're gonna, like, wait a little bit, see if it's worth it or not, right? Because... Truth be told, man, you can turn the sharpness setting on your TV and monitor, and it's gonna be like, hey, you're playing on PlayStation 20. You just need to up your sharpness. <laughs> you need to up, down, up your sharpness. But if it turns out GTA 6 is 60 FPS on PS5 Pro, and it does look better than PS5, then of course, if you already got PS5, then you can sell your PS5, uh, put in another, like, I guess it would be $300, $400 still, I guess, right? Because uh, the uh, PS5 Pro is 700 and, uh, and I'm not sure how much you're gonna get your, uh, get out of selling your PS5. If any of you already done it, let me know in the comments, because I'm, I'm certain, like, some of you, don't be shy, I know some of you actually went ahead and bought the PS5 or pre-ordered, in this case, right? And you're buying, oh, if you did it, that's cool by me, uh, listen, man, I'm not judging you, okay? It's your money, it's your money at the end of the day, all right? But if you did it and you sold your PS5 to get PS5 Pro, how much money you got for selling or trading your PS5? Let, let me know in the comments. I'm uh, genuinely curious and I'm sure like a lot of people would be curious to find out the details as well that might be looking at uh, buying PS5 Pro in the future. Maybe not today, but like uh, if it turns out next year GTA 6 is actually very good and solid to play on, then maybe it's going to be an option. But let's see. A lot of people are going to be happy with 
But we also did get some bad confirmation. Oh. People have been popping this bad boy open, and they've discovered the PS5 plates do not work. The PS5 Slim, some of the plates line up around the disk drive and stuff, but for the other parts, the interlocking teeth are purposely in the wrong spots. Meaning that there if you're go. somebody like me, who thinks mm. PS5 plates are very cool, I, I don't know, it's very basic. Obviously, uh, the Xbox 360, when that was coming out, was in my college years. Obviously, I didn't go to college, Bruh. but like in my early 20s when I was playing the Xbox 360. Uh, it's like the iPhone thing, right? Every year, they want to change a little bit. So the last year's iPhone wires are not going to be compatible with your new one. So therefore, you got to buy another one. You know what I mean? It's their way of making money. I believe now they finally got the USB-C, right? Could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. iPhone finally, iPhone finally got that USB-C, right? But yeah, these seconds are wild for that one. Now, I'm not super big of the, I'm not super big on like plates for the PlayStation. So I don't necessarily care, but I know like that's a shitty move. I know why they did it. They just like, hey man, we're going to change it a little bit. We're going to change it a little bit. So people got to pay to get like, special ps5 pro plates right nothing is free i mean you gotta get the you gotta get you even gotta buy the vertical stand bro how pathetic is that you gotta buy a, a disk drive how pathetic is that separately my my guy separately this is ludicrous what's next playstation 6 comes out no disk drive no stand and no controller <laughs> Am I giving them too many ideas here or what? Man, th these suckers are crazy, bro. These suckers are crazy for that. 60 a lot. I always thought the, the customizable face plates were really cool. This is the customizable face plates of the PS5. It is a bit weird to me that they just decided to make it where there's not a cross compatibility. I don't care what Sony's excuses are of, oh, we had to change internals. They did this so they could sell you PS5 slim plates, PS5 standard plates Facts. when you have the old original launch model or the PS5 Pro plates. Facts. This is very Facts. dumb. Sony actually released Facts. a statement about this already saying, you have the opportunity to buy replacements. That's just a stupid, weird way of saying like, oh yeah, it sucks, but you know, it's it's fine. You'll just buy more of them. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the video. So first oh. and foremost, for whatever reason, I can't full screen this, I can't change the speed. Actually, I can change the speed, but I can't make it any higher resolution. So essentially the first thing he's doing is just talking about the system itself. I want to skip specifically to about two minutes in. So here's when he actually unwraps it. Cause let's face it, a lot of what's in the oh. box is exactly what you expect, right? A lot of what's in the box is, hey, here's you know an HDMI cable, here's a controller and stuff like that. I wanna see, first and foremost, oh God, I'll be honest, I just like the look of the PS5 in general. I think the PS5 is such a sleek looking system. It's funny that the Pro is smaller than the launch PS5. The launch PS5, I still think is technically the biggest console of all time. So it's wild to actually see it. Okay, wait, real quick. You can't tell. I've seen some people that blew up the resolution on this. This confirms another thing that we were kind of up in the air about. Some people were curious if this would still have USB-C ports on the back. For some reason, some of the pictures of the system uh, that people posted, I think Wired CNET, somebody had access to the system and they posted these like kind of slightly weird angle pictures. It looks like all the back ports are the same. Very good. I mean, we kind of assume that, but I'm glad that now it's confirmed that they're not. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, good. All the back. Oh, man. So we're like really excited about not losing the USB-C port. That shows you the state of gaming that we're in. Now, make no mistake. I'm not saying this is a good or bad thing. I mean, surely it's a good thing, right? That we've had the USB-C or the USB in the back, right? Yeah, absolutely. We should get that. Yeah, but the point that I'm trying to make is that, bro, how depraved they got us as gamers that now we're like hey thank god they did not remove it thank god w sony good on you guys good on w microsoft w xbox good on you guys you know you, you know what i mean right you get the point that i'm trying to make right like the video if you if you get what i'm saying man that that's crazy bro we deserve better than that man we we deserve better than that bro ports are the same fantastic sometimes with system revisions obviously they did this with uh, certain models of the playstation 5 going down to the or sorry with the ps4 as the ps4 got slimmer in some versions of it they lost ports same with uh playstation uh playstation 2 slim and stuff like that so is that double front usb-c <gasps> no way interesting Wait, so that's two front usb-c ports right isn't it one on the standard i can't see my mind's behind the entertainment center but here's the other part center. of it i want to look at oh. so Honestly, God, the system does look good. So another thing I wanted to look at is I wanted to watch that he snaps on the external disk drive. Because let's face it, the fact that this comes without a disk drive still completely blows my mind. Okay, here we go. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Beautiful, uh -oh. beautiful. So he's popping off that plate that's pretty much going to go into a trash can. And then he pops in 
the new replaceable disk drive. I still think this is such a weird solution. I mean, I thought originally when they revealed the PlayStation 5 Slim, I thought the idea was to make a price drop. The fact that they haven't is still weird to me, but at least it's very easy to snap in. Look at that. Yeah. You literally line up, there's these two little hooked pegs, you line it in, you drop it in. The disk drive itself oh, is damn. heavier than it looks, so even its own weight snaps it in properly. Oh, and then it has like opposite side clips to the other side. Wow! Easy piece, wow. 10 minute installation. Wow! Yeah. Wow. So, honestly, it looks pretty good. This is the guy who's leaking it, by the way. We should have had that to begin with, bro. Why? Why? But okay, at least the good thing is that if you're buying and you're getting the disk drive, it's easy to install, you just do it. And this is how you do it. Good. But but you feel what I'm saying, right? You feel, Do you feel what I'm saying? Do you feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you feel what I'm saying. Let's, uh, uh, and real quick, man, I need to shout out the homie Crazy online enemy friendly online bbc enemy online <laughs> if you got the reference you got the reference i uh, shout out to the homie train shout out to the homie the bread for following over on the instagram if you guys do have instagram i would definitely love to have you there i uh, let you get back to the content here boo -boo. net games honestly it's pretty cool to just see it in action uh I still think I want to see more stuff about it as I forget to mute. I want to see like gameplay comparisons. I want to see like GTA 6 gameplay, PS5 versus PS5 Pro versus Xbox Series S and Xbox Series S. Bruh. And then later on, surely PC as well, because that's gonna ha uh, that's bound to happen at some point as well. I want to see the GTA 6 trailer too. I want to see GTA 6 gameplay as well, right? Absolutely with the PS5 Pro on PS5 Pro and see like the the differences. And yes, we're having the GTA 6 live stream very soon as well. Trailer two is uh. You know, there are leaks going around, and we have a lot of information. We got gameplay leaks. Guys, check out this video on the screen. We covered all the GTA 6 news in this video, and I'll see you right there. The news is seemingly good this time, so check it out, and I'll see you there.